Welcome to your Wednesday meditation. Tonight, we are going to do a grounding meditation that fits with the Taurus moon that we are experiencing and to calm down the nervous system. To begin this practice, find yourself in a comfortable position whether that is up against a wall, cross-legged, whether that's on a yoga pillow or cushion, laying flat on the back with the knees bent, maybe even the knees are leaning in onto one another. Maybe you're laying down with the legs crossed. There's many variations you can choose from, and I trust that you know exactly what you need in this moment. As you get settled into a position that feels safe and comfortable for yourself, allow the eyes to close or to focus on an object about six inches in front of you. The gaze lower if the eyes are open. Once you're in this position, allow the breath to become mindful as you bring your attention to the inhale and to the exhale. The inhale comes through the nose, down the throat, past the chest, down into the stomach, and down deep into the pelvis. It comes back up in a circular motion out of the pelvis, past the rib cage, past the heart, and out of the throat and nose. If you feel like you have lots to release, sigh out of the mouth upon the exhale to truly feel the release within the body and to amplify it by the sensation. As you connect with your breath, begin to set an intention for this practice. As we will be moving through, harnessing your truth, and saying yes to your authentic feelings without repercussion, judgment, or feeling like we have to show up in a certain way. Allow any bodily sensations such as tingles or the change of your bodily temperature to not alarm you but to reassure you that you are exactly where you are meant to be and that you are aligning on a cellular level. Imagine in each brand new day, you get to choose from an array of choices. And to make a decision means we sever what we do not choose. We let go of that potentiality because we are always moving closer to what we are most aligned for, whether we witness it or not. Upon becoming more mindful and more conscious, you will get closer and closer to exactly what is meant for you by simply listening to the feelings in your body, to the thoughts of your mind. And perhaps it might feel selfish at first. And so this is where I'd love to invite you into welcoming a selfish moment that you felt that you've had in the past day or two days, maybe even three. Maybe someone is giving you something and you know it's a very kind gesture, but it just doesn't resonate how you want it to or how you think it should resonate with you. Perhaps you got a new job opportunity, but 
even though it's new, it doesn't strike a fun or exciting chord within you. Maybe you're about to launch a new opportunity or offering to your community, yet you feel rushed and as if it's coming from a place of scarcity. Whatever it is that you feel like you're being gifted at this time, yet it is not resonating with you, invite in whatever that situation looks and feels like. Allow it to take up the capacity of your mind's eye, forming in pictures, sounds, and feelings. Is there a sinking feeling in your gut or like a stale, stagnant feeling around the heart? Do you feel like the cells in your body are not jumping for joy at this? Continue to breathe deeper and deeper as you allow this memory in. Simply acknowledge it with so much love and compassion because it is truly a gift to show you this was something that you once craved. This is something that you once wanted. Something that you always had, but at that time, you might not have seen it. And now, since you've grown and you've become stronger and more vigilant, full of so much self-discernment, the love for yourself has grown tremendously. And you do not need these gifts any longer. It's not that they do not serve you because sure, they can bring a happy smile to your face. They can bring some joy, but it's not deep, heart resonating joy. It's more of a happy meal kind of joy where the happiness doesn't last so long. As you continue to breathe into this memory, into this moment, or into this certain person, witness that it is not your job to maintain these relationships or to make other people happy. By showing up in your most authentic truth, by being clear and concise with what your heart desires, you are opening the door for everyone else around you to also do the same. What can most times happen in life is we pretend. We pretend to be satisfied because we don't want to hurt anyone else's feelings. And the big why behind that is because we know what it feels like to have our own feelings hurt. And it's awful. We as loving, generous human beings do not want to put that on anyone else as long as we can help it. So instead, we often suffer ourselves and we pretend. If you can look at this from an observant point of view in your own application of this to your situation, Recognize how you are actually hurting whoever is involved more. You mean well, and you do not mean to hurt these people or these places or these things or to deny yourself of opportunities. However, you are meant for so much more. And by not witnessing that and observing it and accepting it and continuing to pursue these other shoulds or have tos in life, we are telling the universe we are not ready to be in alignment with our greatest and highest good. And then these other branches of these offerings, of these gifts, of the people involved, they feel much more hurt than if we would just be honest and open with our heart from the beginning.
continue to breathe as you form a belief that is brand new into your heart. In order to do this, we must first let go of that situation or moment or memory or person that we should or have to bring satisfaction to or pretend with just because we think it's what would be the kindest thing to do. Instead of putting other people before yourself, let's make space by letting these situations go. When you're ready, ask yourself, would I let this go? And answer simply yes or no. Continue with could I let this go? And simply yes or no. Try not to have any kind of debate with yourself. Just allow the sound that feels like it resonates to the highest octane in your body to come through, being yes or no. And for the last question, ask yourself, when could I let this go? Be genuinely honest. If that's now, if that's next week, if that's tomorrow morning, or maybe you don't know, there's no right or wrong answer. Simply by acknowledging this process of bringing up this moment, situation, memory, or person, and asking yourself if you could let them go to create space in your body and your mind and in your soul, you're allowing yourself to trust your further decisions moving forward. Building self-trust about what you want and how you want to bring it into your life is a monumental step in developing genuine love for who you are. Because at the end of the day, when we lay our heads down before we doze off into that deep REM sleep. We want to feel fulfilled. We want to feel pursued by life. We wish to have exhaustion fill our body because of how much love we were able to give and receive and the opportunities that came to us in that day. Our energy is priceless. And when we give it to the situations that we think deserve it just because it would be the kind thing to do, we're actually wasting our energy. We're telling the universe, mix signals. So now that you've cleared that from your body, maybe you want to go over that one more time by saying, would I let that go? Could I let that go? And when? We can now move forward into being clear and concise with ourselves in the safety of our internal world. This is where we build our character and our moral compass and where we truly build self-trust. Ask yourself, What do you want? And be as genuine as you possibly can be. Witness there's no such thing as too high, too big, too wide, too glorious. Those simply do not exist because you are a magnificent child of the universe, of God, of whatever you'd like to say. And because you are of this descendants, you are as equal to everything else in this world. And so anything you want is truly at the tip of your fingers. It's at the tip of your tongue and at the tip of your intention you set every single day.
What does your life look like when you are selfish? And selfish in the sense of putting yourself first when it comes to your emotions, your needs, and your desires. While understanding any repercussions that might happen if we are not honest with the self. Feel the liberation of understanding who you are at a soul level, down to your core. As you allow yourself to unfold moments memories, and situations you wish to achieve in the future, you are building a roadmap to your sexiest and most pleasurable self. One that is ruthless in its discernment and knowing exactly what it wants. You are led by truth. And you know that when you lead with truth, nothing stands in your way. Ensure you may experience ups and downs, as that is how life will forever be. However, you move through those ups and downs with a lot more peace, prosperity, and knowing that all will turn out to be like gold, sparkly, shiny, and simply beautiful. Come back to the breath as you repeat, I am worthy of all things I desire. Take a deep inhale and repeat, I am worthy of all things I desire. Take one more deep inhale and repeat. I am worthy of all things I desire. Allow yourself to start a body scan by coming to the top of the head. Allow yourself to feel the sensations of your scalp, of every hair follicle, of the life that is being exchanged from the cranium to the skin to the follicle itself and growing a beautiful luscious mane. Allow this feeling to trickle down over the forehead the sides and back of the head, covering the ears and the eyelids and the nose. Allow yourself to feel the wind on your skin, any goosebumps that may arise, and any sensations that are truly present in the body, headaches, itches, little aches, without feeling the urge to actually get rid of them. Bring your awareness to them and acknowledge them. In this acknowledgement, they dissipate. By bringing our focus to the thing that is presenting us with a prick or an ache or a little heart sting, we are saying, I love you. And you do not go unnoticed. And then we can continue moving downward over the mouth the back of the neck, the under chin, the front and sides and back of the neck to the upper back. We allow these sensations to fill our body. We take note where we may need to note. We allow the shoulders to relax down away from the ears. 
And we continue to travel down over the chest, breast, front ribs, back ribs, sides of the torso, down the low back and over the belly button. We allow ourselves to become taller and lighter through this process. We relax deeper and deeper into our body as the sensation now travels past the pelvis, over the hip sockets and down the front of the legs and down the bottom of the legs. It now covers the knees down the lower legs, the back of the calf, over the ankle and covering the feet. You relax deeper and deeper as you witness yourself in a lightless form because you have liberated all unnecessary weight from your body. And now that you've gone head to toe, you feel as if you're floating higher and higher and higher, like an air balloon filled with helium so it can travel upwards to reach the clouds. This is how it feels to be liberated and free in your body, mind, and soul. Come back to the breath and take five rounds of inhale, pause at the top and exhale at your own pace. Keep your focus on the breath. As we finish up the meditation, Allow any yawns or sneezes that need to happen to happen. And I invite you to begin moving the body slowly, starting with the fingertips and the toes. Maybe this goes into the neck, inviting in some gentle rolls left and right into swaying the torso. Just inviting in gentle movement into the body. Stay in this position for as long as you'd like as you continue to wake up the body or to finish out the meditation at your own pace. I'm honored that you took the time to be with me today. And I hope that this meditation was beneficial for how you choose to move forward as we transition from cancer season into Leo season. Be gentle to yourself and be kind.